Robert, how, how's the week been, mate? Has it been, I guess, do you have to do things to make sure it's not a disruptive week as far as injuries goes and the amount of changes you've had? Uh, we trained over the weekend, uh, which was good. We obviously had the longest turnaround we've had in a, in a while, so uh, trained, got some things that we wanted to work on uh, and had a, uh, some time off for some of the guys that have been uh, week in, week out, and then uh, got back together and ready to go. How, how long did you need those to have off? Uh, three days. Right. Robert, how have you sensed the guy's spirits? You know, I guess over the last week, like no doubt it's been tough um, seeing your teammates around you injured. Yeah, they've been, it's been really good. We've actually had some fun over the weekend. Uh, yeah, just spent some time together. Had a, uh, it's a, it was a good opportunity on those longer turnarounds to get out of the week that you're in, discuss some things that are really important um, about the way that you live and the way that you want to play. And then we've gone about uh, heading towards that. What's some of the things you guys did to sort of boost morale around the team? Yeah, a few different things. We just had uh, just some small little social events in our, uh, in our own office and then also uh, yeah, just some, so, you know, I think uh, we, Jersey Day, uh, little different things that, that, that keep guys excited. Robbo, how's, um, how's Sonny Bill settling in? Yeah, he's good. He's settling in well. Yeah, yeah okay. And, and just in terms of, like, the, his impact on, on the team and, um, and, um, and, and how is you know finding you know the I suppose the new systems and even though he's been there before. Yeah, he's progressing well. He's not playing this week, obviously, uh, and he'll keep progressing, uh, and he'll keep working towards uh, towards playing. So he's uh, he's had a really good impact. Um, he's got a good energy about him, um, and uh, yeah, he'll continue to get ready to play. Well, Robert, despite really being sorry, I was just going to say, just, despite yeah. being without. Despite being without Orbo and Kiri, how important is it to have Jared back this week? Brent Morrison's back out there as well. Yeah, it's all, you know, you've got uh, a young crew who you want to, you're excited about seeing play and you want to have those, uh, those guys leading up front as well. Uh, so to have uh, some of our senior players back ready to play, uh, it's a real positive for our group. Uh, and then some of the young guys bring some really good energy as well. So you want to have a mix of both. And, and, and uh, yeah, we've been able to do that this week. How, how's Kyle been, mate? And what's his, what's, how's he been the last few weeks? I guess, have, do you feel like you've got what you've wanted out of him while he's sort of been away from the, first, the top ten? Yeah, discussions have been good. Continue to train hard, uh, to watch film, um, to understand... Uh, things uh, that we've both wanted, we've been able to go on field uh, and get our combinations going. So that's uh, it's been a good couple of weeks. I know you obviously you don't want injuries, and you would probably wouldn't have planned to bring him back this week. But I mean, is this sort of always what was in the back of your mind? You had him out of the team for a little while to work on things, and then bring him back in towards the back end of the season. Yeah, the focus is about improving uh, each individual and improving us as a team. So the focus will always be on that. Uh, about how, how does this person fit into our team and how do they improve the way that they play and then how do we improve as a, as a team. That's going to be the focus throughout the year. Uh, we're going to continue to, to, to strive for that and continue to, to measure that each week. So it's, uh, yeah, it's good to see that, um, develop, uh, that development uh, off the field uh, for all those guys that, that haven't played, either been out injured or... Uh, uh, haven't played and get ready to play this weekend. What about having two halves that, that change? I mean, I can't, have, can't think of many times in your career as a coach, Robbo, where you've had, you lost both your starting halves from one week to another. How do you manage that without it being disruption to your systems and to, to your flow and attack? So there's a few things there. You train a lot with those guys throughout uh, the pre-seasons uh, and throughout the season, they spend a lot of time together. Um, yeah, you have the conversations that you need to have uh, and then, yeah, you offer them lots of opportunity to lead on field um, during the week. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, it's not, you obviously don't want some of those guys out, but you also, some of these guys are getting an opportunity to add value to our group and to our season. Robert, do the guys, yourself included, see this as a real great opportunity for you guys to prove yourselves as a footy club? 
but you know, I guess going back to back to back would mean coming over some overcoming some great adversity like the injury you guys have caught leading into the back end of the season. Yeah, to know, I don't think externally we have anything to prove. That's not a motivation. I think each, everybody looks at it that way. We, we want to get the best out of ourselves. And we think um, the challenge that's right here in front of us right now is a good opportunity for our whole squad to stand up, um, to, to go after the Tigers on Saturday night, to play our style of footy, um, no matter what combinations or whatever teams on the field. We really have faith in that 17 and there's an optimism always about the way that we want to play. Um, so the, the, it's all internal for us, um, the development that we want. Robo, the one main factor of this injury toll has been um, Teddy and usually the depth a week or two off the through origin period. Did you, have you given any thought to potentially giving him a fresh up before finals? Do you start or do you not have that luxury because of the number of injuries you guys do have? Yeah, I have a plan for Teddy, Sam, um, uh, and this week it's to lead our team. Uh, he had a few days off at the start of the week. Um, for him, he deserved it, uh, but he also de deserves to lead our, our team. Um, we often see our best players in the best of times when they're fresh uh, and, and, and the sun's shining. Well, this is when I like watching those players play as well, and Teddy, Teddy knows his responsibility. Uh, he revels in it. Um, if you're going to be the number one player in the game, uh, he gets excited by these challenges and he really takes the leadership to heart. So um, these are great times for him as well. You know, so uh, that's his focus this week. And just on one of your other leaders, how, how far off is the boys track with the, with this week to go in a week's time? Yeah, back in training with us so uh, soon. Robert, can I just ask um, about Flato? Like, how much does his job change now that Luke Keery's out? Like, he's played a lot of football with Luke, but now it's kind of a baptism of fire for him running it by himself? Not really. That was his role uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so asking nothing different of Kyle. As I said, we're, we're looking for development in all of our games, in all of the players. Uh, there's no different there, but we're not asking for a change of focus from him. Keep driving towards uh, being the best uh, version of himself. And what about uh, the big news for the club this week? Re-signing Luke, it's obviously a great boost you know, for the next four years, four years, I think. Yeah, you can see he's been a uh, key player for us. And also, uh, he's, you know, when someone fits, they fit. Uh, so you want him to keep him hang, hanging around, and, and that's as simple as that. Um, uh, we like his style of play. We like him, his style of a person, and, and, and he fits. So uh, it's good to, good to extend that time. Bro, well, um, Roosters history has always meant a lot to you. Becoming the first coach to coach Trevor Games there this weekend, I mean, does that mean something to you at the moment or maybe not to you? I don't know. Uh, no, I didn't, I, <clears throat> I didn't know about it until yesterday, to be honest. Um, really proud to be here at the Roosters and there's a lot of uh, players and staff uh, that have been here along this ride that... that, that um, yeah, that have made the time special. So, um, yeah, it's not going to stop anytime soon. So we'll just keep forging forward. But I do, you know, when someone said it to me yesterday, I think about, you know, Travis Toomer and Craig Fitz and Steph Brennan and Dennis Russell and then Friendy and Boyd and Jared and Orbo, those sort of guys. That we've all been doing it for a while now and we'll continue to do that. Brian, I just wanted to quickly ask about Sonny. I know you guys have said that um, the time frame for him to play it could be in the next couple of weeks. Is that still the plan for him to make his debut? Yep, the plan's still to progress him in his uh, physical training and uh, his training with the team, uh, and then we'll make a decision when he plays. Thanks, Ron. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, sorry, one more. Um, just slight change of um, topic. Just with the Eels, obviously they're going quite well, one last night. Um, what are your thoughts on Do you think they're kind of peaking at the right time of the season? They're not the Tigers. Um, we're playing the Tigers tomorrow night. Uh, I'll leave that to other, to other people to talk about. That's what commentary's about. That's what the form of players are about. That's their role. My role is to focus on the Roosters and the, and the Tigers on Saturday night. Um, and just quickly, um, after the game, Craig Bellamy spoke about 
um, you know, potential sort of you know, crush tackle new guidelines that people could take advantage of it, as maybe you saw last night. Um, do you think that's a possibility now? The rules, uh, I, don't, I, I didn't have a discussion. I just received an email during the week, uh, like everybody did, about uh, the increase in penalty, um, and that's up for them to administer the game.